golly. I see him now. I see him. Let's go. How's it going, everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub playing Fishing Planet. Of course, love this game. Love it. And it uh, it is a nice Sunday morning, if you can't tell by the look on my face. Um, it's early and I'm ready to play it's so early in fact that I can't use the light for my windows and I have my uh, my actual light on um, but hopefully it gets it gets bright enough later on to hear that I can turn that off <laughs> so anyway today we're fishing at Quanchkin Lake and I'm really excited about it because uh, there are some pretty cool fish here spotted bass of course we haven't been able to fish since uh, Lone Star Lake um, there are some buffalo but a uh, largemouth bass unique as well here um, Flathead catfish up to unique, um, which should be pretty interesting because they even say here um, grow to a length of 155 centimeters and may weigh up to 120 pounds. Uh, 120 pound flathead would be my PB largest fish ever since my uh, my tarpon on blue crab only went to 119. So uh, that would be pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, looking through here, there are some other cool fish, blue catfish only up to trophy here. But of course, the alligator gar, which would be pretty exciting, also only goes to trophy. But I mean, I can only imagine even with the trophy, that's going to be a pretty giant gar. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. But being the beginning episode, we're probably going to have to end up catching a lot of these smaller fish, the white bass, the white crappie, um, stuff like that. So that will be something we're going to have to work on as well. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get out there. Let's get, get, let's get going. Let's get going. Wow. Look at this place. So we got, uh, lots of lily pads over here. Lots of lily pads over here. Um, there's a couple of bank spots over here. That's kind of interesting. Swampy open space. I'm going to have to read through these to kind of figure out where we should end up fishing. Now to give you a little, uh, a little look at what I'm having today. Um, I have my little float set up, uh, 10, let's see, 25 to 22 on the rod up to 13 pounds on the reel just in case we get snagged into a you know a decent large mouth i didn't want to be fighting it forever um we have our our uh, 17 pound rod here with the 23 pound uh, reel to catch bass um and and whatever else might go for this frog here um and then we have uh what's pretty cool here the ggc match monster here this is a float setup uh specifically for gar and this was actually given to me by someone here at the bz hub hendry uh Grobbler. I believe gave us this this was super nice of him thank you so much Henry wanted to uh, thank you for that this was great um, it even came with this uh, this bomber jaws whole thing here um, and yeah it, it's it's pretty awesome I think anyway it's it's got all everything you need uh, for catching gar and whatnot so that is uh, I think it is called the gar gar and glory pack if you're interested into it. if you're interested in catching lots of gar or something like that um, yeah it's pretty cool I got this cool jacket and I got this setup and it came with another setup as well but this was the stronger of the two so I decided to go with this one for now um, but yeah and then we also have a bottom sniper uh, set up here I'm gonna read through these and then I'm gonna pick a place and then we'll start fishing everyone all right all right Quanchkin adventure one here fifteen hundred dollars just for coming to the plates but that is all right um, I'm excited about this unfortunately it is kind of rainy on our first day here at Quanchkin but uh, you know what sometimes you just got to deal with this kind of stuff um, I did end up choosing this spot down here or the upside down it kind of gave us a uh, a, a description that made it seem like there might be some pretty cool stuff out here um, so yeah I thought it would be worth a try anyway I'm gonna put down the stand and throw this out here and then I might try for some bass or something like that I'm not quite not quite sure at the moment but yeah let's let's get at it whoa 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 okay I'm coming something small anyway which seems kind of weird for a large cut bait, <laughs> but we sure are reeling this guy in pretty fast. I'm eager to see what it is. A little channel cat, maybe? Oh, it's a bullhead. Oh, it is a channel cat. I don't know, man. They all look, <laughs> look, it was so small, I didn't know. Here's a four, four pounder. Yeah, little little four pound channel cat. Channel cat. Not, not great, not great. I think. I don't know. We might end up keeping some of these guys, but for now, I think I'm just going to throw them back. 
I guess one thing I haven't done is uh, check and see where the deep parts are. I'm gonna place a marker. All right. So I've thrown a marker down in one of the deeper spots here. So hopefully we will be able to kind of throw out to where there might be a big fish. Let's throw it out there and find out, I suppose. Whoa! Still not too big. Oh, oh, whoa, that got a little tighter anyway. Oh, probably so it looks like another channel cat. A little bit bigger than the last one, though. Yeah, trophy channel cat this time. There we go. Almost as big as the one I caught in real life. If you haven't seen the pictures from that, uh, then you haven't probably seen the video. You should go check out the video. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah. Hopefully we'll catch a channel cat in the game larger than the one I caught in real life. That would be, that would be, uh, you know, obviously better. <laughs> Let's throw it back out there and, uh, and we'll see what we can do now. All right. Got our bottom sniper out there uh, waiting for a, a good sized fish anyway. And, uh, I'm going to throw this bobber out. Hopefully we can, uh, get into a crappie or a bluegill. Honestly, pretty much anything on the left side here. Quanchkin exploration. Um, Whenever you come to a, a pond or something like that, a new, new lake or something, you know, some of these smaller fish, uh, they're really just forcing you to go fishing for them <laughs> because otherwise you probably wouldn't even go fishing for them. You'd probably just aim for the bass or, or something. But, uh, yeah, just to get to the point where we can fish, you know, a mission for, for bass and catfish, we have to catch all these small fish as well, which is why I always bring a float rod whenever I come to a lake for the first time. So, uh, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we're going to do. Ooh, we got a nibble, got a nibble. Oh, looks like a little red, a little red ear. Nope. Black crappie, man. I thought it was red and green for a second there. Goodness gracious, a small black crappie. Well, I tell you what, it's not the it's not a monster for by any means, but uh it is it is a fish and it's we're one step closer to finishing this up. <laughs> is how I look at it, you know. There we go. We'll wait for another one, see see if we can get something else. If we kept if we keep catching crappie, that's when of course you kind of switch lures. But uh for now, we don't we don't know any better, you know. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Boy, that got pretty stressed out there. Boy, it almost broke off. Hopefully we got something a little bit bigger this time around. It's not pulling us is the thing, and it's not splashing, which makes me think it's a catfish. Cause usually the gar splash a lot. Ah, no, no. God, we were doing so well pulling it in. If I go to look at the camera and that's when we lose it. Gosh dang it. Ah, okay. Well, at least I know my drag setting. Obviously that was too tight. I've, I've decreased it. I've decreased it one time. So we should be good now. <laughs> Golly, man. So, uh, just to get away from the monotony of trying to catch something on a bobber, I am going to throw out this buzz bait. <laughs> see if we can get a bass in these little straights between the lily pads. I also brought along, um, some frogs and stuff. With all the lily pads that we have around here, I thought the frogs might do some, some good work. So, uh, that might be something else we try as well. I just thought, with these straights being so perfect for, uh, throwing a buzz bait or something like that, we might as well give it a try. Yeah, nothing is going for the buzz bait. We might throw the frog out and see if we can do any any good with this. And if this doesn't get any attention, well then we're in, we're in bad luck. <laughs> we're in some bad news bears, everyone. I think our first bass here. Got our first bass here. A tiny spotted bass. My goodness gracious, that's the first spotted bass we've caught. Look how big this frog is next to this fish. That's how small of a fish it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Well, we caught a fish though. That's what matters. Oh, we got a bite. We got a bite. <gasps> no, come on, man. Oh, I had the drag set lower. I had the drag set lower that time. You're killing me. You are killing me. We only, 
We only have one more leader for this. Oh my golly. Oh my golly, that is killing me, man. I'm just gonna have to set the drag real low. Maybe it just, it didn't, the last couple times I tried lowering the drag, it didn't lower it, and I thought it did. So it had it at the same, gosh dang it, that was a big fish. That was a big fish, man. Hey, the rain stopped. <laughs> oh, something smaller this time around. Another little channel cat, probably so. We're not getting a lot of uh, money from the, the from the channel cat, and I don't think we'd really get a lot of money from the gar either. But it's still like something, you know, it's a decent sized fish, and that's what we're going for. Yep, another channel cat here. Uh, probably release him. Um, you know, honestly, I should probably just start keeping these guys because um, with us targeting them and uh, and smaller fish at the moment. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm trying to catch bass at the same time, but I'm, I'm not really catching any bass. I think we're just kind of in a bad location for bass fishing at the moment. But, uh, yeah. What do you know? There we go. This seems like a pretty decent fish. So I do, I do put, I did put the other, uh, Gar and Glory, uh, reel on this one. Um,. I think this is actually the heavier reel. So if you saw my other gar uh, float rod and you thought, oh, that reel seems small for that rod, it's because I put the heavy ro the reel on on um, this rod, um, knowing that we might be going for a decent sized fish on here. So this is actually one of the gar and glory uh, reels here. And this is another cool detail. I actually saw this in one of the uh, f the updates that just came out. Um, they added the uh, the reel spinning when the fish is pulling. So now it's pretty. It's you know it's a little bit more realistic whenever the fish starts pulling you out you'll see the reels start to move um you know as as if the fish is actually pulling you out before it didn't it didn't spin so that is kind of a cool detail i thought have to be a little bit more careful with our drag just because i know that this is our this is my last titanium leader um if, if this breaks off we're gonna be in some trouble seems like a pretty decent fish whatever it is i mean it's pulling me out could be a decent blue cat i mean i would think the gar would be you know making a fuss and of course the only blue cats only go to to a trophy here not unique like saint croix or something like that but we will see this could be a, a unique channel cat for all i know there we go that yep, trophy blue catfish that's what i thought that's what i thought new pb as well how about that what do you think about that guy, he nil? He says, this looks like my brother-in-law. Very nice. All right, top notch. Well, our first decent blue catfish here. That's not too bad, everyone. I like that, I like that. I tell you what, one thing I haven't been able to try out yet is this uh, this new shiner rod <laughs> with the, uh, the Gars and Glory. I'm gonna just throw it back out. I don't know, there's some fish moving over here, so we're just gonna, whoa. That was pretty crazy to watch. We're gonna throw it out here, see if this gets any attention, and um, yeah, we'll just find out, I suppose. So it's it's kind of moving right now. Whoa! Just got taken by something. Oh, what do we get? Hey, a chain pickerel. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Those always pay okay, though. I always say if you're a beginning player and you're moving on from Lone Star, you know, head to Mudwater and uh, go for those chain pickerel because the chain pickerel pay pretty decently. Um, not amazing by any means, but uh, you know, decent. Decently anyway. They'll, they'll put you on your way, get you ready to go to Emerald Lake. If we catch another chain pickerel, we might have to choose another location because uh, we can't keep catching these small fish. We are skating it. Yep, tiny little chain pickerel. <laughs> All right. Top notch. Well, maybe we should try this other side. See if we get luckier over here. Whoa, is that a duck? Oh my god, there's birds flying everywhere. Oh! Grabbed. Grabbed by something. That, uh, that, that old drag is going up. Something a little bit bigger anyway than our last fish. Even a little bit of clicking action there. Look at that Gars and Glory logo on this rod. I just noticed that. Hey, it's a largemouth. How about that? <laughs> a trophy largemouth on the shiner. That's hilarious. 
I'm just noticing these little birds that keep landing on these lily pads. That's awesome. The detail. I'm telling you, Fishing Planet, Fishing Planet, you do great job. You do great job. So just to show you um, a little bit of the uh, decoration around Quanchin here, this is the tobacco drying farm. That's what I thought anyway. This is where they uh, this is where they pick the tobacco leaves and uh, and dry them right here. Interesting, I thought anyway. A little structure here, and then if we walk over there, you'll see that little hut, little pel. It's called the Pelican Hut. Um, evidently, the story behind it was that someone caught, or not caught, but uh, but mended uh, a pelican. You know, brought it back to uh, good health, and then set it on its way. And uh, from now on, it's just known as the Pelican Hut. But uh, check that out. It's even got a little alligator school on there. Pretty sick. Little rocking chair. That way, if we get tired fishing, we can uh, just sit down in that rocking chair. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, that was co cool. Little details in this uh, in this new area. This is such a big area compared to like Everglades or something like that. I'm just kind of wandering around, just kind of looking for a spot that looks good. Um, some of you in the comments might be able to kind of give me a little bit of direction here. I usually try to come here with little little knowledge, you know. Um, just try to explore it for myself. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea what to expect, honestly. I'm going to throw this large minnow back here and see if we can pull anything out of this little area. There we go. Oh, my God, it flapped up on land. What in the world are you? <laughs> I think it's either a flathead or a, maybe it is a, a big catfish. Let's find out here. Oh, it's a flathead. <laughs> a regular flathead catfish, nothing exciting. But hey, look at this guy. Goodness gracious. And this is just a regular one. There are uniques in here. And we still haven't landed one, but that is a... That's a good size, 27 pounds, 55, almost 56 inches long flathead catfish there. That's pretty cool. These three guys have all sorts of stuff set up over here. They got, they got the, the Gar and Glory pack, and uh, this guy's got something else here. Flames. Flames something going on there. This guy's in normal. He's normal, but he's got two rods set up going out in that direction, so it must be okay. Uh, must be all right fishing here. We're fishing the same area, just not crowded on the same beach, see? You see what I mean? We're going to throw down a... Uh, I think we're going to throw down a stand here. And I'll get my bottom sniper back out there. And uh, we'll try to catch another fish, I think. To those of you who normally watch me, this is probably a pretty strange sight. We have a bottom rod over here, and then we have a bobber rod over here um, waiting for a bite. Usually, we we've got lures, and we're throwing lures left and right, catching all sorts of fish. Um, a little bit slower this morning, though, but we are going for, you know, we're going for a giant catfish is what we're looking for. We're looking for a giant channel cat, um, a good-sized blue cat, a, a unique flathead, um, and, you know, of course, they got the alligator gar out here. I would love to get into a trophy alligator gar. Um, would be sweet. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to pay attention to see if we can get anything. There we go. There we go. A little bluegill. Little bluegill, that'll work. Well, we might not be catching. Hey, we got the white crappie. There we go. There we go. I tell you what, we're just not catching anything. I, I mean, it's, it's kind of annoying. We're not catching anything on the bottom sniper. I've had it out there for like 10 minutes now. Um, so I think we're gonna reel it in and head to a different location. Um, I can't imagine I'm not fishing the same location as those guys over here. I've casted it out into uh, the deep, the deep area over here. Um, but yeah, still just haven't, haven't nailed one. I don't know what the deal is. Well, from over here, you definitely get a good look at your uh, two different locations that are deeper. Um, we were catching all the fish that we were catching anyway um, at this location over here. So I think we're just gonna cast out over there and um, yeah. Hope for the best, I suppose. Oh, we got a bite. Doesn't seem too big. But then again, it might just be because our drag is set really low. I don't think so, though. <laughs> it would be pulling us out if it was big. We do have large minnows, though. So once we run out of it, we might have to move on. Looks like a channel cat. Another channel cat. I think we're gonna start keeping these guys just for the heck of it.
All right. Well, he got a gar. What the heck, man? I want a gar. 38 pound alligator gar. I have to start asking these guys what they're catching them on. Goodness gracious. Fisherman Frankie over here. Catching all the fish. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. This looks like a pretty sizable fish. It's got some decent drag on there, hopefully. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oof. There we go. Oh, look at that face. That's a big blue catfish right there. Not even a trophy. My God, we sure are. We sh we we sure fought with him for a while for not being a trophy. Well, you just caught a unique channel cat. What the heck, man? All right. I, that's it everyone. I'm throwing them both out there. Oh my god They actually had a nibble on the bobber. Oh My golly Some just took that. Ooh, I think we got our first alligator gar Ooh. Look at it go Holy schmoly Yeah, he's a goner He is a goner I think that five odd, the, the six odd hook was just expecting a bit much, I guess. Dang, man. First alligator gar broke it off at 387 feet. Holy crap. Ugh. Okay, well, that gives me, that gives me a little bit of information. First off, we need to reel this guy in. I'm sure that the five odd hook would work fine. It's just that that one went for a six odd hook, which is good to know. You know, the next time we come out here, we might leave a bass uh, rod behind and then just bring another bottom sniper. <gasps> Golly, man. And honestly, it feels like the gar are only going after the bobber. Whoop, there was a splash. And the other thing is that, you know, that with this rod being seven, seven pounds, uh, you know, lighter on the drag this could honestly be a fish that we've already caught on the bottom sniper and uh it just seems big on this rod just because it's a lighter rod you know oh my golly i see him now i see him let's go there we go our first alligator gar Nothing special either. Not even a trophy or anything. This is the base alligator gar. But look at that. Goodness gracious. That is cool. You know. We came. We saw. We conquered a small alligator gar. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Okay, we're keeping this guy so we can grab this other pool. Watching my drag, I don't want it to get too, too, uh, too high up there. I'm glad that whatever this one is waited for us to get the other one in <laughs> before deciding to to buy down, buy down on it. There we go. There we go. Starting to see a little bit of uh, action at the top. I think it is another blue cat. I'm seeing a white belly. These blue cats are kind of annoying, to be honest. It's like I'd much rather go for, you know, a flathead or or a gar. But the darn blue cats come up and take you, and then you end up fighting with them for, for a couple minutes when you'd rather be hooked onto a gar or something like that. Come on, you. Get in here, you fat cat. Hey, we got a trophy blue cat though, and that is gonna break the personal record. <laughs> How about that? That is pretty funny. At least if we're gonna get into a blue cat, at least make it be a, a new a personal a personal record. Oh, look at that! Did you see that? It said it was too deep to stand there or to to sit there. Oh, I'm no okay. I do remember seeing that. I just didn't understand what it what it meant. That is sweet. 
<laughs> Our new personal record. The numbers are so perfect. It makes me feel like this is like the max, like the max trophy blue cat that you can get here for this for this area since there are no uniques here at Quanchian. Okay, 368 XP I guess is not too bad. All right, threw out some crickets this time, hoping to get a Wormuth or, uh, or, oh god, what was the other one I was going for? The Red Ear Sunfish, maybe? Um, one of them, anyway. They go for crickets as well, so I thought maybe we would try this. What are we getting this time? A little white crappie? Yep, a little white crappie, okay. It would be cool, and people have talked about this before, you know, a cool feature would be, you know, we're over here on this little peninsula. We're ca we're trying to go for big fish. Uh, at the same time, over here in this little shallow area, we're catching small fish. It would be cool if, you know, you could catch these small fish, and uh, there would be a feature to either cut them up, to, depending upon the size of the fish, you could cut them up into uh, to large cut bait or medium cut bait, um, small, um, even, you know, catch shiners and using the shiners that would be that would be pretty cool I think um, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me that that would be a cool uh, feature it's just you know would you rather them spend time putting that feature into the game or working on a new map um, in Africa you know fishing for tri tiger fish or something like that like that you know those are the things you need to think about I suppose whoa whoa okay I'm coming I'm coming nice what do we get a little channel cat a trophy channel cat, a new PB channel cat at that. Yeah, this one is gonna match uh, the largest one that I caught in my day. Uh, in my day fishing, it's gonna match this guy, even though this one's not even as long as the one I caught in real life. So that's pretty funny. Weighs the same, but is about four inches shorter. Um, that's funny. Good size channel cat. Top notch, top notch. Okay, well, we'll keep this guy and we'll just keep on fishing, I suppose. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> what else can you do in this game? Jeez. <clears throat> there we go. Got something. So I, I stopped putting out the uh, the larger bait just because we needed to start focus on some of these smaller fish. Finally got a red ear sunfish. That's good. We got a warmoth, uh, a white bass, and a golden shiner to go. This will be pretty interesting. The old sand bass, huh? Um, the warmoth also goes for crickets, I believe. So that's good to see. I know you're out there, warmoth. Add a nibble. There we go. Oh, that's a warmoth bite right there. If I've ever seen one. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Lots of red ear sunfish. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Another bluegill. Pole 76 says that he found one in the upside down spot. Warmoth. Warmoth. Uh, Warmoth. Warmoth. Bluegill. Ah! Sounded like Pee Wee Herman. Trophy Black Crappie. Whoa! Whoa! Warmoth. Warmoth. Ready your sunfish. Already. Killer bluegill. Ooh, another bluegill. Crappie. There we go. It's fighting like a warmoth. That's nope, crappie. Warmoth. White crappie. Not what I'm going for at all. You're not a sh freaking shiner. Dummy. Is that shiner? <gasps> Shiner! Boom, boom, boom. Got that one done. No more semolina balls needed. Whoa! Goodness gracious. This thing's fighting. I thought he was going to break my line when we first got him. It's a freaking bowfin. Are you kidding me? Good God, you stinking bowfin. You stinking bowfin. Whoa, got something. Whoa, it's turning. It's turning. It's a dumb bluegill or something. No way. No way. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about that. Finally got this white bass. <laughs> I was just wandering around the entire place, wandering like, wondering, when am I going to get a white bass or where do I even fish for one? Top notch. Done with that. Crap, let's go back for the warmoth. Two hours later. Well, I tell you what, everyone. <sighs> 
been we've been playing for about I mean I've been recording for about an hour and 23 minutes but been playing for about uh, an hour and 32 hours long so far um, caught a lot of fish I mean we can look into the fish keeper we've only caught twelve thousand dollars worth of fish but I mean we've caught some bass we've caught some some catfish we caught some gar um, yeah lots of tiny little fish trying to catch this darn warmth I am probably going to play into a second day to catch this darn warmth and uh and yeah this is gonna be pretty cool i think um i'm excited uh we're probably gonna have a day two out here at quanchkin lake just so that we can uh i obviously you should always do this go out here fish and then go back and uh and and you know change some things based off of what you learned from your first day um get new equipment you know do some different things and then uh go back out and try again and that's probably what we're going to do we're probably going to keep on going and uh, get this warm up and also um you know who knows i guess maybe get another bottom sniper rod or something that way we can fish two at the same time that would be pretty cool um but yeah thanks for watching everyone really appreciate it and uh i hope you enjoy the video if you like our stuff obviously we have videos every single week showing off the hunter call of the wild fishing planet and uh, other outdoor games as well so uh make sure you subscribe to the bz up channel and uh really appreciate all that you do hope to see you in the next video and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on